what is good you guys i know i know it's been a minute since i uploaded some videos here on youtube but you know life happens i think the last time i uploaded some video was i think i was 20 pounds lighter <laughs> but anyways i am back and today i was going through my videos and i figured i haven't really uploaded any walk around of my truck so today's video that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be showing you guys a full kind of like a short and quick um run around or walk around <laughs> of uh the stuff that i have on my truck and just kind of like address all some um all of you guys' uh, question with regards to what i'm running what company or what brand i have on my truck and those kind of stuff so if you like these kind of videos be sure to subscribe and let's just dive right in also you guys i have some announcements and some surprises at the end so make sure to watch the full video so that you guys know what that might be so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and start from the front all um and just work my way towards the back and kind of like show you guys what i have on this truck all right guys so starting from the front as you can see i have a steel bumper that is from TJM. Um, they're a company based out of, I think, El Cajon, but their main office is in Australia. It's an Australian brand, so you know it's tough and it's durable because um, it's, you know, Australia people are like into off roading and into overlanding. And TJM's not that famous, but over there in Australia, they are. Over here, I have some fog lights from Dark Defense. These are in amber, and if you know me, you guys, you would know that I don't run companies or products just because other people run them as well. I make sure that first, they are good quality, they perform great, and also they are a bang for your buck. So that's why I go with the companies that I choose. Um, over under here is a 13, uh, I think it's 13,000 pound capacity winch. It's an off brand, but you know, I haven't used it yet. Hopefully, when I use it, it works. <laughs> right here, I got the Anzo headlights. These resembles the factory headlights um, of the newer models of the third gen the newer year I mean as you can see they have a, a daytime running light like that let me try to turn the light on there as you can see it has that sequential thing pretty well pretty nice and right here you can see I changed the, the emblem I just went with uh, a wrap that's um, kind of different from others and then most of you guys run your Raptor lights here with me I put it on the hood scoop I don't think I've seen anybody do that yet for their Tacoma, but um, I like it. So, by the way guys, the truck is really dirty, don't mind that, I'll get it cleaned. Um, right here, I have ditch lights, again from Dark Defense, they're in amber. And right beside it is the antenna for my Midland. Coming around on this side, I have the snorkel with a snorkel upgrade. For all you guys who are in defense of getting it, just go get it. It's a great product. Right here, just underneath the emblem, you would see my front-facing camera 
that thing really helps in the trail. Let's talk about my suspension really quick since we're already here on this side. So these are the locked off-road with reservoir. It's adjustable so you can pick whatever height you want. But I think it goes up to I believe two and a half to three inches of lift depending on the weight that you have. I also have the JBA upper control arms. I mainly chose this because it's red. <laughs> and I later found out that they actually perform really well. So I like it. Okay, so for those of you guys who are asking how I was able to fit an almost 35 inch tire, this doesn't apply to everybody, but what I did is I had to trim the fenders, as you can see right here. I have a separate video of how I did that. I can link it on this video and you guys can check out how I did that. But um, also, you would have to beat the hell out of your pinch welds. As you can see, it's all folded up. I can even do it higher, but this one works for me now. It doesn't rub anymore. And also if you notice, I don't have my liner here anymore. It's completely removed. You would have to do that when you trim your fenders. So that's what it is. And also, if you can see my cap mount, it does look disgusting and exposed, as you can see. Some of you guys might run a cab mount relocation, some might um, just do a cab mount chop, but I did, I did the extreme chop, as I would call it. So I chopped it off and just left it open, no plates or anything like that. It's held up for over, I don't know, two or three years now. No issues at all. The only thing you would have to do is after you go to the trail, you would have to just like clean the inside so that there's no debris or no mud that will catch up in there. But other than that, it's held up pretty well. It looks disgusting, but it works. Right here at the back, I have also locked off-road suspension and I have the Deaver Stage 3. Yes, it's a Stage 3. So, this leaf spring is for all you guys who are constantly running heavy weight on the back of their bed, just like me. I have the camper, I have the rooftop tan, which we'll go to later or maybe on a different video. But yeah. Stage 3 Deaver Leaf Springs. They, rock, they, they, they perform really well. And right here, I have the sliders from Beast Fav. It has a 15 degree um, angle. I like it. Perform really well. And that's about it. Going to the back, I have here the swing out tire carrier from Rigid Armor. As you can see, that's my setup for my swing out tire carrier. I have the tire, I have the high lift jack mounted on it. I have the trasheroo and I also have the jerry can and I mounted a shovel. And the cool thing about this tire carrier is that there's a latch here and then you have to Kind of remove the pin for the second lock. 
and then you just swing it out. And there's a safety lock here. It has three holes where whichever you want to use. And I have a table, a drop down table for this. So that's where I usually put my propane um, stove and I do all my cutting and prep on my tailgate. But yeah, I like that setup. It's held up really well so far. And I like it. For all you guys who have the um, swing out tire carrier, regardless of what brand you have, <clears throat> as you know, once you have it on, it will block your um, rear view camera. So what I did is I removed the stock camera and rerouted it to this side right here. I'll link that video in the description and you guys can check that out how I did that. For my wheels and tire setup, I have the SCS F5 in the 16s and I also have the Geolander, the, jo the Yokohama Geolander MT. So this tire size is 315 by 75 by 16. So it's close to a 35. Some people call it 35, but whatever. Um, it's a mud terrain, as the MT says. And this is actually quiet on the road compared to other mud terrains that I've run before. Um, but as you can see, it has that poke right there. It sticks out a bit and that's because of the big size that it has. <laughs> as you can see, it sticks out quite a bit. And I don't know if you noticed, I wrapped, I mean not wrapped, I powder coated the wheels in red just to match the whole accent of the truck and I like it <laughs> I like it that way I also have the little white accent on it so yeah that's for my wheels and tire setup right here on the side you guys you can see my retro stripes and that's from Taco Trooper off of Instagram really really love this it makes my truck stand out um, amongst any other Tacomas out there. I believe I've had this the longest, man. I've had this since, I don't know, 2018. And it pretty much, it's kind of like my signature for this truck. <laughs> okay, now so let's jump on top of the truck and show you what I have on top of it. So right here I have, they call it the array for the dark defense. So these are, I believe, 12 pods. One, two, three. Yeah, it's 12 pods. I have two on both ends as amber and they light up separately from the eight clear ones that are on the middle. I like this setup because you can run the ambers by itself or you can run all of them at the same time. Pretty nice. And here I have the my traction board. It's just traction boards from Amazon. And it's just held up by zip ties on top of my Prinsu rack. There you go. That's the Prinsu. I have a Prinsu rack on top of my roof. And right here is my water port, the weekender. It's very vital when you're out there needing water. It's more than enough for like a weekend getaway. Maybe like two to three days. 
worth of shower. A quick shower, that is. <laughs> and right here, I have my 270 awning from Overland Vehicle Systems. Love this product. It's so easy to deploy and honestly, you don't have any issue running it. It's so easy, very useful. I love it. And on this side, I have their shower curtains from Overland Vehicle System as well. And on to right here, I have this custom made camper shell. So, as you can see, this kind of looks like the smart cap. It does have a window on this side. It doesn't have the window on that side, on the other side. But, see how big that opening is. I love this part right here, where I can open the back. And you can just hang out here, sit and relax. Fresh air and everything. I also put a kind of like a little net on top of here just to utilize the space. And on the inside, on the driver's side, I have my axe mounted. And on the other side of that are these roto packs. This one opens too, but you would have to remove this and you would have to have the awning open to fully open it like that on the other side but as it is right here I can open it just like that and I can just slide underneath pretty nice I like it and this camper is lockable as well you got six locks all over and I also have my chase lights on there And since we're right back here, let me show you guys my setup on my bed. So I have the I have the light running all around the, the bed of the truck. Switches right here. And then I have this kind of case from Overland Vehicle Systems. I put all of my tools my recoveries in here and right here is a 75 liter fridge from Falcon Overland it comes with a slide or it doesn't come with it but I bought the slide so slide right out There you go. So this is kind of like my setup. I would cook here, prep there, and right here is all of my frozen stuff, cold beverage and everything. This fridge is powered by a Jackery. Right here at the back. I don't know if you can see it, right there. So it's powered by Jackery, um, and the Jackery is also charged by my solar. Right there. It's on top of the rooftop tent. It's two 100 watt panels. And I used to run this fridge 24-7 for, I don't know, maybe six, seven months just by that setup. So what happens is it just runs cold inside throughout the day. And then at night, the jackery will be charged by the solar panel. I'm sorry, in the morning. <laughs> 
in the morning or throughout the day the jackery is being charged by the solar panel and at night the jackery will run the fridge just by itself forgot to mention I also have the rear light from Enzo pretty nice I like it So that's about it for the outside. Let's dive right inside and show you what I have. All right, you guys, so in here, nothing really fancy inside. Um, first, I have the six shooters right here, which pretty much controls most of my lights. I also have my radio down here, my Midland radio works on the trail when you need to chit chat and gossip with your buddies <laughs> right here I have a simple setup for my phone carrier or my phone mount and also my tablet mount right there like I said nothing really fancy inside I'm running by the way the Clasio leather seat covers These are seat covers just so you know it looks really stock But they are just covers So that is it you guys. It's just a quick walk around of what I have with um, on the truck right now I've had this truck since 2017 and I've done a lot of modifications to it a lot of um upgrades and all that some stuff that I did that doesn't work anymore but that's it right now that's how she is see I really love this setup it's more than capable especially with what I do which is just overlanding and camping I know it's a two-wheel drive some of you guys might hate me for that but you know two-wheel drives can do it <laughs> Kudos to you guys who have two-wheel drives, um, Tacomas. But like I said, I've taken this truck anywhere that I wanted. I know my limitations, so I don't take it where I think I won't make it. So two-wheel drives are more than capable, pretty much. All right, guys, so for you guys who have stayed up until this part of the video, I have a surprise, like I said, and that is I am selling the truck. Selling it either as is or parting it out. <laughs> but yeah, the reason mainly is because for the past, I don't know, two years, it's just been sitting here. The only reason why I take it out is some, when I go camping, which is rare nowadays, now that I have two kids who are like, one is a two month old and the other one's two and a half years old and I prefer to hang out with them to be honest and that is the reason why I also haven't posted any video recently I'm just you know soaking it in trying to be present and be a dad <laughs> so yeah this truck's been sitting here and anytime we use it it's all cramped on the back seat like you have two car seats and my wife in the middle it just doesn't work so it's sad but I would have to let it go priorities you know <laughs> but with that being said I also have another surprise for you guys surprise there it is you guys this is a new to me 1999 LX470 um, so I got it like about a month ago and I got it stock to be honest everything was stock and it still is stock wheels and tires it did have the running board but I took it off already um, had it tinted already And when I got it, it was it had like um, 246,000 miles, which is nothing with these cars. 
all the maintenance was done record and everything is um, available and I think I'm the third owner of this truck so it was a pretty good deal so I couldn't pass on to it um, although it was a good deal it has some flaws like some scratches here and there some dings which I'm not worried because I have some plans for that and the main plan for this truck is to make it a week ender for the family that also has a capability of being an overlander so I'm gonna start setting this up and modifying it I don't know what to do first but I have plans on you know what to get and what to put on it but um, yeah so if you wanna follow along for this new build make sure to like and subscribe I'll be posting videos of this truck um, every now and then just giving you guys update on the progress of the build and like I said I'm really happy I've been wanting to get an SUV that is capable and will fit my family because like I said the truck is just sitting there mainly because it's very cramped at the back I couldn't fit uh, two car seats and my wife at the back which with this one it's very very spacious so yeah like I said follow along make sure to subscribe I'll be giving you guys update and thanks for watching guys if you have any questions with regards to the truck make sure to come uh, leave that on the comment section and let me know and that's gonna be it for this video Catch you on the next one.